sometimes rides never show. Sometimes they're early, sometimes they're late. Some people even are left stranded overnight. Riders who use the paratransit bus services provided by Hampton Roads Transit were speaking out today. Yes, they are. A myriad of problems that continue to plague many clients. And they joined forces with a grassroots organization today to protest for change. News 3 reporter Chelsea Donovan has more. At $7 for a round trip, it's really an economical and often the only way for riders with disabilities to get around. But many of these riders tell us frustrations are mounting due to mishaps with service. We were stranded over nine hours. Adrienne Butcher and her husband, who is paralyzed, were never picked up by the HRT paratransit system earlier this month. We were left overnight. The uh, ride had been inadvertently canceled. It's a major problem like hers that's prompted disabled riders and the grassroots organization Virginia Organizing to speak up for change. Reach the prayer transit system! About a dozen riders and supporters stood outside HRT headquarters in Norfolk to voice their dismay with the system. The paratransit bus system serves about 2,000 disabled clients with 22,000 rides each month. Paratransit is my only way around town, really. A crucial service for Mary Mathena, who is blind. One of the main problems that we're having is that reservationists are outsourced. They are not local. They're not locally employed. Other problems include incredibly early or late pickup times, reservationists that are outsourced in the Philippines, no communication with dispatch, drivers unfamiliar with the area, or drivers that are unfamiliar with people with disabilities. Wanted to have sensitivity training for the drivers, for people with disabilities. HRT, please fix your system. Reps with HRT heard their chants outside bus headquarters, feverishly scribbling notes when hearing about the riders' difficulties. We understand how important this service is to this community. It needs more drivers to address the demand, and we are working hard to find them. Riders hope changes on the horizon and more respect for those who are faced with everyday challenges. No one would want their loved one to experience the cruel, inhumane, and callous treatment that my husband was subjected to. The paratransit service is subcontracted by a company called VIA. The advisory board committee says they will meet with riders in the coming weeks to come up with a solution. In Norfolk, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.